Hello everyone. Still working on my prototype, just kind of fussing around a bit. I've got something more like a building, which is always nice. Oh, there I've gone and clicked on something. So this approach has a couple of small weaknesses that I'll need to address later. And the biggest one is that it produces a lot of game objects. So you can see that this one segment of wall is six game objects. Um, and of course these uh, these surfaces here have papers all over them, and each paper is its own game object. And so you get a lot of game objects, and that's going to really tax a system as the building gets larger. So I'm going to have to have some kind of game object combining culling system later on. But that's not actually that hard to make, so I'm not too concerned, especially because the papers don't have collision meshes, and the walls have a single span, so you could just combine these into one wall with a single box glider. So it'll all work out pretty well. Um, the uh, these are inherited from last time. I haven't changed these at all, but the mailroom takes in observations from the field. Later on in the game, uh, you can actually create observations by doing science in your facility, but I'm not ready to do that yet because it requires me to build the physical models for various things like a launching pad or a machine bay, a machine lab, and that would take forever. Uh, so for now, it's just going to be handling the observations that come in, and then I'll expand outwards once I'm sure that's fun. So the observations come into your mail desk, which can distribute them to these various cubicles. The jobs of the cubicles, they, uh, they handle, they're you know, low-level employees in comparison to uh, scientists, and they read the incoming communications, um, and they can do a variety of things with them depending on their job settings. Uh, the big one is they can collate them, and if you collate a, a set of uh, experiments, you can pass them over to an upper-level employee which would be at this desk, and he can turn them into a paper or into a, um, a a study, which is basically an observation that is a combination of observations, so you can get a bigger science out of it. Uh, so how you do this will vary. As, I, as you might remember from last time, uh, there are different kinds of science, and you can't combine them very easily, so you need to you know work with one kind of science. So you might be each of these guys handles one specific type of science, and then this guy gets past eight of the same kind of science at once and then just works through it all. But I've added in a couple more stations. They don't have any actual functionality yet, but they do have some ideas of functionality. This guy over here, uh, he is a stand where uh, you know where everyone can get some, some nice uh, um, uh, some drinks and therefore it increases everyone's productivity in the same in a certain radius, uh, radius being steps, not not, so if you put something on this side of the wall, it won't count because you can't go through the wall to get your water. Surprise! Uh, this is a just a filing cabinet system, so you can store observations that you don't want there uh, to use yet there. And so you can do various kinds of things later on, like combining identical observations to get better observations and that sort of stuff, which is necessary for, um, for certain kinds of optimizations if you wanted to really get the most out of your science. This is a printing machine. Um, the printers don't exist in my starting game, so I just put it out here to have it. Uh, it, it isn't isn't in part of the. Uh, you haven't discovered printers yet. You got to start in the 50s, or earlier, maybe the 45s. No, I guess the 50s. But anyhow, this is a uh, this is a boardroom, a mini boardroom, and people who who sit here will be able to uh, help with projects. They'll be able to help figure projects out. And a project is what you would be doing in order to create science in the first place. So if you had a machine room and a rocket uh, launch pad, then you might use one of these to formulate the best possible launches you can get. And you do that by actually cycling observations that you created back into the boardroom, consuming them, and in exchange getting a much better project that can produce much more science. So it's similar to the idea of combining observations to get a study, except that what comes out of the other end is an observation, which can then be combined into a study, because studies can't be combined with studies, but observations can be turned into studies. So you can get a lot of science out of it that way. Uh, however, since this doesn't have any facilities built into it like that, it's just there for looks at the moment. Uh, so all of this is built all of, the, all of these here are built with the Broke-Ass Games uh, pack, which is great. The walls and ceiling texture, let me go ahead and hit play so you can see inside here. The ceiling and walls textures are both built with a pretty good uh, and very cheap pack called the mod uh, Modular... Let me just check what that's called. Uh, it's the interior house wall, and that's a system that allows you to create 
whatever kind of materials you want, tiled wall materials you want, um, and I think it was two bucks. Um, it was certainly very cheap, so that was well worth it. Uh, the floors are from a free floor pack, so definitely go get that. Um, there's a, a free wood floor tiles pack that you can grab. All the walls I just built myself because they're just squares. Uh, but the doors come from the uh, Modern Doors pack. Now the Modern Doors pack is relatively nice um, because it comes with its own scripts and stuff, but it has a major flaw. And that major flaw is that when you scale the door, it breaks. Uh, when it opens up, the things start to detach. And I think that's probably a flaw in either their script or the way they've set up their doors. Um, but it's something I'm going to have to fix if I want to keep using this pack because I need to scale the doors. I can't can't use them at the exact size they started. Uh, I think that was it. Anyhow, uh, this is all the free included assets. Uh, anyhow, the next step is to hook all this stuff together, make it all work, uh, and then I can give the player a UI to create variations on their own, and by which I mean my own, because I'll be the player for the foreseeable future. How exciting.